Hello and welcome everyone today. Well, today I'm doing a reading with the Orishas. I we haven't really spoken to them for 2016 and and you know because we had some negativity here I also wanted to work with them on cleansing and you know bringing my home back to order uh, divine order we can say so I've been working on that the last couple of days but so today we're going to do a reading uh, just to see um, what's going on with um, their wisdom for us for this 2016 at least this opening season this you know next three months six months let's see what's going on okay so I um, also have a San Miguel St. Michael candle here so I want to close with one card from St. Michael and I have um, two Orisha decks this is my first deck and so it's kind of gnarly and written on so forgive that but this is uh, the latest one I've tried to keep in a little better condition uh, and this is the the booklet or this one is also getting a little bit on the ratty side now, but um, this is Oshun on the front cover, the high priestess of the Orishas, considered, and um, Yamaya here, our goddess Yamaya, and mother, connected to mother, and she is uh, the empress, you know, all-knowing too. So they work in tandem, and a lot of beautiful energy between them, okay? And I also made some little crystal water that I'm also going to drink with the Orishas mm -hmm. to um, help us welcome in a 2016 for all with as much beauty and love and shine as we can, you know, receive. All right, so we're going to do a nine card spread as usual. Um, I was thinking, uh, let's see, okay, I think I'll just do four with the old school deck. And then five with the new. Okay. The latest deck. All right. Let's see what they have to say for us. I'll move this one further over there. Okay. Okay. These two together were pretty strong. Okay, this, I'm just, I want to see what that card is, but I didn't pick that card, but I know it's been through something there. <laughs> I haven't worked with them in so long, actually, it seems like. Okay, so we have four there, and let's pick uh, five more to make the nine card spread. And as we've shared before, the Orishas are very earth mother based tradition of, you know, tapping beyond 3D. I mean, we can definitely work with them, but it's we got to work with them. They, <laughs> they pretty much are in charge of how things roll for them. So a lot of respect you have to have for these deities. Okay. And we have nine cards on the table. Uh, thank you for watching and let's see what we have to unfold for the uh, next few months for 2016 okay now oh Shango is here how beautiful oh how beautiful okay 
Now I don't read the cards reversed, okay? But I know I shuffled everything prior, but th th they're all upside down in the respect, so I'm going to flip it around. But just know there's a lot on the table then, okay? Because I didn't do that on purpose. So obviously, you know, for all of us, um, you know, we have to really think what's going on, what's happening. Okay, and Chango right here is Archangel Michael, okay, via the how Zolrak, the author of this deck, set it all up. Okay, so we have Archangel Michael's energies here. You know, Shango thinks like that. He he justifies things. You see his double axe. I have his axe right here. Okay. So I have him right here right now. Okay. And he's one of my <laughs> my boyfriends. <laughs> Right, right. Oh, God. Okay, well, I love it. I love it. Okay. So, it's already, <clears throat> you know, the supernatural, what you all think you can't see, but you can feel it, you can hear it, you can eventually see it too. The paranormal is real. Um, but just know that here we have the white light is right here. Okay, So no matter what negativity is out there, the light, the white light. And you know, white light is really all about all the colors of the rainbow, right? And that's how come sometimes we can see the rainbows when how the prisms work out. I mean, I really people, you know, my brain doesn't think scientifically, so but you can look that all up. So really right now even it looks like white light. This is all rainbow colors coming through. And uh here's Shango. Fabulous. I just uh you know, I don't I don't work a lot with the Orishas because I respect them so much. It's not like, you know, you just call them every night, hey what's going on? <laughs> right? No, no. But here we have, I'll put him right by his own candle, his representation of the energies. Beautiful. If Yamaya comes on this table, well, just know I'm going to love it, okay? I just, this is wonderful medicine here. And, and like I said, this is like Indian power too because they work with earth. They work with mother, mother. So this is, you know, one day, you know what? I don't think I've ever done a, a reading with my Native American cards and the Orishas. I think I should do that. See how both those, you know, fabulous energies, those that knowledge they had from all Mother Earth, Mother, pretty much Mother. You see, uh, all these cards show the the Orishas on Earth in Africa, the Yorubas from Nigeria. Okay. All right. Oh, Akimari, how wonderful. Look, just talking about the rainbows right now, weren't we? Talking about the rainbows. And that's pretty, you know, it, it talks about um, grand, grandiloquence, I think, is how it, the card reads. Grand, I can't even, you know, articulate it right now. But it just means, you know, you know, have faith. Just things come. Rainbows start shining. Even right here, we have rainbow right now. Like I'm saying, it's just, you see it white light kind of thing, but it's all a it's the colors of the rainbow that, you know, how wonderful. And then you see the snake, right? All about transmutation. You know, we change every day. We should change. Change is good. Changing for the better. Changing for the higher realm. Changing to connect with the divine. Connect with earth. You see the snake rooted right here on, on, on the mother, mother earth. Feminine receptive, no doubt about it. That's the earth. Um, but, you know, here we have the sky, too. You know, get sharp with your thoughts. You know, really start thinking, you know, and pay attention to that intuition, too. Come from the heart zone, okay? But look at that. This is, you know, like a, well, this is totally a major arcana card for this deck. And this is another major arcana card for this deck. So we have back-to-back -back now major arcana cards. How wonderful, how wonderful, okay? And now we have Sixta Tierra, okay? 
Six de Tierra, and we can see the Taurus power there. All right, we've got Venus in La Casa right now, right here. And six is about that harmonizing, six of Earth. You know, that means, you know, you, you, it's, it's all coming together. It's moving forward. Now, I'm trying to <laughs> memorize the planets. I'm learning about this astrology, people. I'm working on it. <laughs> but yes, again, Earth. See, working it. you got to work it, people. There's no free rights, but you see, solar sun is there. See that? Star sun. Because it's the energies, our power, our harvests. See, working for the harvest, right? That's all, you know, the coins. So it's about our resources, how we work it, how we earn it, how we save it, how we use it. <clears throat> Got a little goat there. I love those baby goats. They're so cute. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. How fabulous the ten of earth is here. Look at that. Harvest, abundance. Look at that sun star glowing firepower. Beautiful. See, you got to work it, people. And then when you work with the divine, I'll pick up all the cards at the end and we'll analyze, but isn't that awesome? My goodness, how, does it get any better than that? We've got Archangel Michael representation via Chango. We have Akimari saying, yeah, it's all about, you know, coming, having good things. And look, double good things for the whole familia. Is this Jupiter? <laughs> I can't remember. I'm working on it, people. But you can see all the harvest right there, all their you know, grains of how much hard work they put into it, right? No free ride. You got to do it, people. Got to do it. And and that that means you earned it. Nobody can take it from you. And even if it... I know I'm blessed. I made that for her. I made that elixir water just for her. That's mother. Yamaya represents mother. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Another mermaid here. Yamaya is also a mermaid in many representations. Six of water with the full moon. Look at that. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. You know, we're just moving forward, people. Harmonize with yourselves. Touch the water. Touch the sand. You know, dream of sand and surf if you don't, you know, put on YouTube. My goodness. They have these beautiful tropical relaxing videos. They show all the ocean. Beautiful. Play some of that in the background. And, and, and even the images that they offer with this beautiful music is lovely. You know, in case you have to study, you're not taking a nap or something. It's still you can witness all these beautiful and put you there. You want to be like this, right? We, how This coming 2016, we're talking about it. We'll, we'll talk about it at the end here. But you know how... We want to, you know, kind of take within, go within more. So whether that's resting, napping, meditating, you know, reading spiritual awareness things, whatever it is for you, but where you're, you've got technology off that's talking about bad things, bad thoughts, negative things. Okay, because you read all, just the video I just dropped. Negativity is tangible. Okay? It'll give you sicknesses. And you know, I was wondering... I don't want to bring it up right here, but I will. You know, I wonder if she even aided, you know, that man. He died at 55 years old, uh, too young. You know what I mean? From stomach cancer. He probably had freaking ulcers from negativity. <laughs> I'm not laughing, but it's what I'm saying. But anyway, look how gorgeous this is. Okay? This is all about our emotions here. Okay? 
So relax, let it flow. Remember, we've been talking about being more playful. See, she's just hanging out playfully there. By, by herself, introspection is, is what we need right now, too. Because you can't share spiritualism with a lot of people. And please, I'm going to repeat myself. Get out of those covens, okay? Everything, solitary practitioner. Read Scott Cunningham if, if you want to follow, you know, the path of a little more like shamanistic stuff. Witchy stuff. He, he's, he was good. He's good. But he knows the devil is real. That's for sure. Oh, my goddesses. Oh, look at this. Ace of Earth. Oh, my God. Is this more bounty? And look at that big toro. <laughs> Venus sending the love. I got to say, Aldebron is here with us, too. That, you know, that's the, the star that sits in his third eye. I know, I know that I... I have connection with that. I'm positive of it. And I think this card is them saying, you know, I'm doing a good job. <laughs> I think so. That Yamaya has come through with Shango. The world has come through now. This is the, the feast <laughs> where we all gather to celebrate the wonderful harvest till eternity. You know, this is like our soul, not our personality, but our souls have reached where, you know, we've passed the judgment and we're on to the next world and it's fabulous. We, we made it to the world of light. Not darkness. No darkness here. And this is the 21 major arcana. Oh my goddesses and gods. I'm just like, isn't this wonderful? The last card of the, you know, arcana. And even his design is very different, okay? And I'm grateful that all these major arcana cards are coming through. But... There's only one card that does close any tarot, and that's the world card. And here it is. But we'll be reading. I want to read, because he, he writes, his dialogue is a little deep, and I want to represent, because we brought out all these fabulous major arcanas, and even the minors are ten of earth. Come on. That's even, that's as strong than any major arcana card. The Ten of Earth, or the Ten of Cups, you know, any card like that. Okay, so here we do have another major arcana card. And this is the known as the Outcast, El Expulsado. Okay, but you see how he's dancing? All right, okay. So he's not the prisoner, he's just the outcast. But, uh, you know, kind of like I've been outcasted here because of what, you know, I practice, but I'm still dancing, people. And look, if if you hold on and believe in your inner fire, what you're supposed to do on this planet, and they'll help you, trust me. <laughs> they'll push you along, so look for the signs, okay? And even if you are uncertain, have faith, okay? Have faith, right? Have faith, you know, when, when certain times things were going wrong and you had that low head, and they helped you lift it up. Well, now we got to look up and thank them, okay? Like, I'm going to thank them after, for this beautiful reading, okay? And these are very tangible deities to work with. But mind you, they are their own bosses, you know. They come when they want to, to you. But so it doesn't matter. Go for your authentic selves, okay? No matter what people or even family or, you know, it, even if it takes years for you to achieve your true desires that bring you peace of mind. Remember, it's all to align us with the heavens so our soul goes to the righteous place, to the next fabulous 
world to conquer. You know, some of us want to come back to this one. That's cool, too. But it's mainly, there are many worlds out there, okay? And, they, and they'll and they send it to the light. You know, and look, we've got some totem animals here. We've got the fish, the ram. We've got the power of the dragon there. You know, the dove love. Boy, look at these energies. Beautiful. So let's see what this little guy is up here in the back. Five of Earth. Okay, so you see? Here we go. Now we have a little. The challenge is always there. Okay? The challenge. The challenge is always there. And I'm glad this card came up because really this was for Orishas. It's a lot of lovey-dovey today. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, what? 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 We went bingo again? <laughs> right? So I was waiting for something. <laughs> But that's okay, because something's always right around the corner, right? Right? So, you know, but uh, just know that, just have faith. Even if sometimes you feel like you're in that bottomless pit somewhere, and you're like, well, where's all this happening? When's all this happening? You just, you got to have faith, okay? You got to have faith. You really do. Because, you know, when you work with the divine, they bring you what you're supposed to have when you're supposed to have it, okay? But see, this this can be also negative thinking, like you just saw in my house with the video I dropped a couple days ago, okay? This was in my house, too. Like, this card just popped out through. So we want to get rid of this, whether it's your own negative thinking, like she had. She had a lot of this. And then they wonder why, what's wrong in their lives. Sometimes people do, too. But because you think like that. So we definitely want to put that, you know, under the smudge here and cleanse all that away, okay? Because look, truly, they want us to have, I mean, how many major arcana cards came through? I'm still personally amazed, you know? There's five of them here. How cool is that? And very powerful ones. So let's read about Shango first because... And then we'll pick Archangel Michael coming through here. My goodness, I can't wait to see what he has to say. Whoops, excuse me. But that's crazy good. Crazy good. So Shango, I mean, he's 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 the one. Like he's all about that justice. No doubt about it. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. So Sir Chango here. Judges and magistrates, concepts of justice, equality, and equity, deals and documentations, examination and studies, righteous and impartial person, fair. Okay, so fair. Fair. And hold on, I want to see, hold on. I just want to check on something again. Okay, let me see. Because, let me see. There it is, Chango. Okay, so if you can see that right there, Chango, St. John the Baptist, St. Mark, St. Michael, Archangel, or, oh, I'm sorry, I missed my nail. Okay, right there, or St. Barbara, okay? So Santa Barbara, San Miguel, you know, in Spanish. So I just wanted to confirm, so you all see from his booklet, uh, Zolrak's booklet, how we have Archangel Michael here. Okay, so whatever we pull out is going to be strong for us to listen to. Okay? All right, and then who was next? My Lord, my mind, Akumari comes. My goodness, people. How just <laughs> fabulous. Muy bueno. <laughs> Okay, favorable changes, transmutability, quick and or short travels, wealth, pleasures, leadership, and summoning power, grandiloquence and seduction, versatility. Okay, so how fabulous is that? We just got to keep the faith, people. We got to keep the faith. That's what we got to do. And then Yamaya came through. I'm just still, 
I mean, she's right there, my goddess. Look at that. How fabulous is that? See, people, you got to work with them. You got to talk to them. And respect is mainly what you got to have for everything. Yemaya. Maternity, pregnancy, honorable, affectionate, and protective woman, worthy mandator, influence in erogenous and reproductive feminine zones, urologic and circulatory apparatus, wealth, prosperity, luxuries, and marriage. Okay, well, there you go. I'm serious. I mean, look at this. And then this is all about wealth luxury in a ma happy marriage, you know, happy family. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying you have to have a piece of paper, but I'm saying you are happy with the family, you know, your children, you, you know, whatever, your, your man, your women, the woman. And look at this, but you, we got to work for it, right, my darlings? There's there's no free right. We, and this is a physical kind of harvest help, but I, there we got to work with the divine. We got to ask, okay, the angels come when you ask, okay? The main thing, the only time the angels come in a miracle is when you got the demons around you because they're the only ones who can take those demons away is the angels. But how beautiful. So let's let's continue with, you know, two more of these major arcana cards. I'm just, I'm so excited and happy. I'm so glad we got to sit down because they knew that I was very, uh, you know, very upset about what was found in the drawer. <laughs> okay, so here we have the outcast. Limited and overflowing situation. Disquiet and nervousness. Free thinking. Infantilism. Senses that seem to be in a drowsy mood uncontrolled, lack of priorities, foolishness, complex of conflicted sentimental relations, giving up tendencies, unfinished works, tasks and facts, and there's a lack of affection. But we're not going to go there. You know, yeah, there's a lack of affection from the other people, but you're going to still love yourselves, okay? Love yourselves. Right. Okay, yeah, so, you know, just make sure that you don't go into the darkness, all right? You know, because people don't agree with the way you do things, okay? Don't don't go into any kind of depression because people are, especially if you're, you know, trying to go within and, and tap your intuition, you know, and, and if you're paying attention to your intuition and people are, like, teasing you on it or whatever, uh, just... Just go within and, and, and let them go, okay? Because, you know, those are the vampires out there, no doubt about it. You know, they don't they don't want us to be our own magicians. Trust that, okay? No, they do not. So you just see what Source has for us. This is what we, you know, co concern ourselves. You know, as Archangel Michael always says, and Shango's here, you know, do not concentrate on evil. Do not concentrate on evil, okay? So, you know, do not allow the darkness put you down because whatever you do, all right? And it's, you know, that's a hard lesson. That's the main lesson for many of us, to be fierce and fearless, to, you know, let our true inner purpose, soul purpose, let's talk about the soul because they want us to talk, you know, doesn't matter what skin color you are, doesn't matter where geographically you come from, what your heritages are, really, truly. It's all about how your soul shines. Do you shine with the light or are you dark? Pretty much that's all we got going on here now, people. Because it's, it's, it's spiritual warfare. This is all spiritual warfare right here. The Orishas are all about that, you know. And that means, you know, souls of light against the souls of darkness. But how quaint it is that Chango was here. But we already had a little... We can see this darkness, right? That looks a little dark there, doesn't it? Place, place of darkness, okay? So we don't want to go there. Even if they, you know, the darkness tries to put us in there, we fight back, right? If 
we've talked about that. If you've got demons demanded from you, you command them. Okay? But you got to have the white light with you. You got to pray to Saint, you know, San Miguel, Archangel Michael. You have to bring these in. And they'll know, you know, because you've been doing it enough. Okay? But let's read about this world. I mean, I'm just so it's 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 phenomenal that they, you know, totally want so much for us. And again, the you know, this is African uh, uh, you know, Earth, Earth, Mother. It's just wonderful. Let's see, hold on. I'm kind of, how come I'm missing this one? Hold on, my dears. Oh, no. Okay, oh, the Earth, because I'm looking for the world. I'm sorry. Oh, goodness gracious me. Okay, I'm looking for the world, and and it's it, he has it under the earth. Okay, here we go. But this is this is 21 major arcana card. The earth travels, change in residence or arrangements in the house, <laughs> body modifications, influential and important people, ways which are open to accurate decisions, conception, birth, delivery, progress. Okay, so. See, things are opening for you. And that's what the world card also, uh, you know, talks about. That now you've been through the journey. You've been through the journey. You've had the highs. You've had the lows. Okay? You've had the highs. You've had the lows. But look at this. They want to bring you the harvest here with the Ace of Earth. This is, you know, and this is all, what's cool about the Ace of Earth, it's about new beginnings. So here we are. We were asking, how's 2016 going to look like for the new beginnings? I'd say it looks pretty damn good, people, if we get away from negativity. and Or, you know, even if you're not a negative personality. Look, it's in your home. It was in my home by someone who was very negative. Okay? And, and try to stay away from groups of people. You know, like you know, this mobster neighborhood here. I definitely was trying to stay away from them. Because they, they send the negativity and you, they, they do it in groups. You see how they do it? They get together in a mob. That's what they, why they're called mobsters, okay? Because they like to, you know, we'll just send negativity, you know, in, in a group setting. And it, it, you know, oh my Lord, but look how wonderful, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is a beautiful reading, but definitely, you know, let's just... Take it easy in the respect. Let's 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 read this final card because she's got the mermaid vibe, and you know, us Pisces. I'm a Pisces. I love the mermaid vibe. So let's and this is all about our emotions. So let's see, um, what Zolrak says about this, uh, water, six number, which, you know, we talk about that beautiful harmonizing number is six, rejoicing. New meeting with friends, coming back to sources, interchange of ideas, thoughts, knowledge, and gifts. Okay, my dears, get out in nature, okay? Get out in nature, uh, you know, shoreline, mountains, just get outside and get grounded, okay? Grounding, grounding, okay? Earth star chakra grounding. See, she's on the earth star chakra right there, and she's grounding her emotions. And then we have Luna in the background. So we've got the double energies of these goddesses right here. Look at that energy. So you can tap this. You know, we can tap this. We see the moon every day, right? And we know Mother Earth is here every day. <laughs> oh, how beautiful. How wonderful. And so many major arcanas, you know, that's like, you know, the gods and goddesses are with us, right? It's beyond the king and queen deals. Beautiful. And let's see what Archangel Michael has to say now from his deck via uh, Doreen Virtue. All right, and we'll just pick one card. And uh, let's pray, people, okay? Pray. And, and, and please work with yourselves, too. 
You know, you're here for a reason, especially if you watch videos like this. Okay? Especially. See, be gentle with yourself. How loving. How loving. Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. Wow. How, how sweet to end the reading. Okay? So really, please, my friends, Try to avoid thinking rash, thinking negative, okay? You know, that's why we take those deep breaths. We say, hold on, let me, let me think on it. And you know, whenever we do anything very important, especially like signing contracts, you know, you always sleep on it, okay? Always. Even if, if they rush you to do something, never, never, never allow them or anything to rush you, okay? So, because here we have an Archangel Michael's right here with us right here double whammy so this is a double so since it's double whammy uh, let me read it from his book because maybe there's a message in here also for you but so let's be more playful we talked about this for 2016 go with the divine flow okay be gentle with yourself please take those sea salt baths or swim in the ocean or you know what I mean okay all right Work with your inner core and work with crystals. Mother Earth is all about the crystals. Be gentle with yourself. Archangel Michael is guiding you toward honoring your sensitivity emotionally and physically. You've been pushing yourself too hard while often berating yourself for imperfections, which are in your imagination. This card serves as a reminder that you're doing the best you can in the circumstances you're dealing with. So give yourself a break. Slow down and be good to yourself. Okay, there we are. Possible specific meanings. Remove yourself from a harsh situation or relationship. There we go. We were just saying, stay away from the bad people. Okay, stay or stay away from bad circumstances. You know, not all people, you know, good people do bad things. Bad people do good things. But the point is, you know, if it's toxic, get away. Remove yourself from a harsh situation or relationship. Eat a more healthy diet. Avoid chemicals in your food and environment. Get more sleep. Switch to a gentler form of exercise. Speak lovingly about yourself and others. Quiet time is needed. There we go. That quiet time. Turn the chatter off. Anything that can influence you. Or stimulate you negatively. You know, turn that off. That's you don't need that. You, we're we're trying to read a, you know, gain higher vibration towards love. Okay, towards what Mother Earth is trying to give us right on this table. Look at all the love, the bounty, the harvest. I mean, uh, how can we deny it? But we have to embrace her, love her. You know. We do. And be gentle with ourselves. And the prayer. Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. I'm just so grateful. So grateful for this reading today. So yes, so let us see how 2016 embarks for us, but my darlings, I mean, look at all this earth harvest. You just gotta work it, my darlings. And what's wrong with working it? What's wrong with that, okay? And there's challenges. And and so get yourself out of the negativity. Do not concentrate on evil, even if it comes your way, okay? Handle it as you wish. Work with Archangel Michael, okay? He'll tell you how to do it, okay? But you, you just keep moving forward because look at all this earthly prosperity here. And even if you're going through this right now with family or friends that say, hey, you know, you're getting what into spiritualism or you're, or you're working with your inner fire or what is it? You know, just don't even, just don't tell them stuff. 
you know, because really, if they're meant to be, they will be. If not, divine will remove them, okay? So you don't even have to concern yourself, really, okay? Just show your own shine, all right? Show your own shine, and look at this, uh, and get into the mermaid power. <laughs> but uh, look how beautiful, and the mermaid is here, Yamaya. I'm just, how beautiful. And again, grandiloquence, okay? I mean, that's like, that's some power I have in my hand, people. But again, be gentle, okay? Be gentle with everyone. Gentleness, okay? No harshness. There's no reason, you know, to hate on people. It only comes back to you, really. It totally does, no doubt. All right, my dears. Well, I am grateful once again for this Mother Earth realm meeting that pretty much sums it all up. You know, get outdoors, by the ocean, Earth Mother, embrace her. How much is her beauty, okay? So it's been very positive, very positive. So we have much to consider for 2016. And uh, it is about being positive. It is about looking uh, towards the future and looking up, okay? No looking down, right? Lift it up, look it up. And uh, I'm, you know, I can't articulate. I, I, I'm so within excited, you know. And, Sometimes that's why I don't really always want to film in front of the camera because I get too animated, you know, and I rather stay behind the scenes here, but still speak my mind, you know. Look at this, how I, I'm, again, I don't, I try, I give them respect. I don't just whip them out all the time, but they have so much to offer us, okay? It's loving and beautiful, and it's real for us, okay? So... Much beauty to all of you, all right? Uh, you know, start thinking more positive. Clean out those, clean out your houses, okay? Because no doubt, even if you can think positive and you're watching videos like this to gain self-awareness or awakening, whatever, however you want to look at it, there could be angst in the closets and the drawers that people sent you or you, you made it happen your own damn self months ago, years ago, okay? So... We want to get rid of that, okay? And if it takes smudging every day, then smudge every day, okay? There's no reason why you can't just smudge every day, all right? It's important. Smudging, uh, you know, let's, it's spirit letting the negative ones say, hey, I'm, I'm right here. See, like the white light, <laughs> okay? Love, love, love. Have a great day, and thank you to all my viewers and watchers, okay? Couldn't do it without you guys. Chat.